Hey guys, this is a quick video review of Touch Grind. It's an app I bought on the App Store a couple days ago. It's really fun. Um, I'm going to show you the basics about the game and what the object is, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to tap the game. Alright, Touch Grind. There's the Legion Labs logo. I'm going to tap to skip it. Alright, so when you start off, you have this wheel. It says spin the wheel to spin the wheel. So, um, warm up, you have warm up, how to, which is like teaching you how to play the game, um, about, you know, just tell you the things about the game, options, all you have is to turn sound effects on or off, kind of stupid options. Gives you a tip too, but it never changes. Competition, this is your main mode, this is what lets you do tricks, you know, do all that kind of good stuff. Alright, um, Jam session. This is where you can practice and see scores of your tricks. And warm up. This is like this, like free mode. You can do whatever you want, like a easy course. I'm gonna be showing you jam session in this video. Though. So I'm gonna hit start. And you get to choose your board. You unlock boards by earning a certain amount of points in competition. This board is easier to ride, um, but it doesn't give you as many points. At least that's what I take from it. But, um, I normally just use any old board, so, I normally the biggest one I've unlocked, so, I'm not very good at this game, as you can see, I'll unlock that one. Alright, so I'm going to hit start. Okay, and it tells you a tip before you start each level. Oh, nice. Alright, so, to ride your board, you hit two fingers on it, do an ollie, get off those fingers. There are lots of tricks and stuff you can do with this. Um, there's a rail over there. Let's see if I can get up to it. Yeah. It's kind of hard to do this in the video camera, harder than you would think. Let's see if I can see this from an angle. Let's see if I can get on that stupid rail. Get on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what you get. Yeah. There are all sorts of neat little tricks you can do on this. Um, one of my favorites is just a simple flip and save myself up. Oh, yeah. I can't even. So, um, that's your basics of the game. You can go the other way by going like this, and this way by going like this. There's, there's only one map. It's still okay with me. It's a really awesome game. Um, it's five dollars in the app store, and in my opinion, it's my, my current favorite app. Oh, uh, well, maybe not my favorite. Beatmaker might be my favorite now. But this is right up in there. My, it's probably my favorite game. But um, it rocks. So just a recommendation to get um, Touch Grind. Not as in depth as some games. Kind of um, just do whatever you want kind of thing. You turn around by doing like this. Controls actually work really well. It depends on what you're doing. The only thing that doesn't seem to work very well it seems to mistake um, turns sometimes or stops. If you stop, you actually pull off your whole back wheel and you can turn like that. But it seems to mistake those sometimes for like when you turn. Seems to like try to pull off the wheel to be turned too fast. It's really cool though, other than the occasional glitch or two. Let's get your music. Um, try to do another trick here. All right, this isn't a video about tricks, so this is just gonna give you an idea of the game. You can see a replay, even though that kind of sucked. You can still see a replay of your last thing. It shows you where your fingers were at. That's all pretty cool. That's where I was telling you how it mistakes those things for stuff sometimes. So, um, there's a flip I did. Oh, no, I landed. Alright, that's cool. So, that's pretty much, that's all there really is to touch grind. It's a simple game. Nothing really big about it. Um, only other thing is your, your view, like, you can't see very much. As you can see, it kind of tells you where stuff is at, but, like, that wall right there, for example. I don't know if that's actually going to lead me up a ramp or just hit me into a wall. Rails are kind of obvious, but see, that rail is on top of a wall, so, and it doesn't really point that out. So you don't really know where you're going unless you know this thing in the bottom is a magnifying glass. You tap that, and it shows you everything from a long way out. Um, it's really useful. The only downside to it, though, is you can't actually control your board when you're in this mode. I think that'd be really cool. But they need some sort of mini map or something as you're skating, just to kind of show you, give you a heads up of what's around you. Anyway, so it's my quick video review of Touch Grind for the iPhone and iPod Touch. I recommend it. It's a great game.